Jackson. Supreme gasoline. Johnny, welcome to 2K TV. Now, you were just scanned for NBA 2K23. Can you describe what the process was like? I've never seen that many cameras in one setting before, but, you know, it was a lot of fun just knowing that I'm going to actually be in a video game. I've been playing 2K since I was a kid, so now, like, getting my face scanned and not having to worry about making... A San Antonio landmark, the beautiful, colorful Riverwalk, as we welcome you from the Lone Star State. All right, everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Joined by Hall of Famer Grant Hill, NBA champion Steve Smith, and our reporter, Allie LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. Hey, Allie. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Well, very interesting, Ali. Good stuff there. Thank you. And tonight, the rare marquee matchup at center, Grant. This ought to be a treat. Oh, yes. Two heavyweights slugging it out. The different styles, but the same goal, to dominate at the painted area. All right, let's take a look at New Orleans' starting lineup. They've got Darius Garland. Zion Williamson out there with Brandon Ingram. And it's Sampson in a shooting guard. And for San Antonio, we've got Clint Capella. And it's Magician in at the point. the Spurs start out with a ball. Pass to Vaughn. Ball, ball. Capella in the high post. Hey, hey. Woo, woo. On the wing. 
To the right side. Here's Magician. No good with the triple. Here's New Orleans now. And going against San Antonio, their first meeting of the year. Yes, the first of four meetings between the teams. They should be quite familiar with one another by the end of it. It's the kind of season series that can really make a difference in the standings if one team ends up dominating the other. Sexton finds Capella. On the wing, Sexton. Capella with it. Covered by Williamson. Just five to shoot. Spurs need to get one up here. Magician. They grabbed their own... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, my. Wow. Throw it down. Yes, he did. A fairly unassuming personality. Clint Compella enjoying the spotlight on that one. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Outside Ingram. It's rebounded by Vaughn. The Spurs have gone one of three from the floor. Here's Magician, coming off a solid outing against Memphis. And he's going for the lob! And Capella gets it to go. You gotta love how Capella keeps possessions alive. Really nice effort right there. Inside, here's Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. Sky high, one of his advantages as a undersized four. There aren't many players that have come into the NBA as a consensus number one pick like Zion Williamson did. Nobody was passing on this fellow. Finished off the break. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Here's Magician. Pass to Sexton. And the lamp is good off the glass. In that 2019 draft, Zion was a prize that every team in the lottery was hoping to win, Grant. And that added a lot of excitement to that night. I mean, when you've got a once-in-a-generation talent like Zion, the lottery becomes a major Zion event. Williamson. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's Magician going inside. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Capella with a block. We've been spoiled by watching Clint Capella do this for years and years. He's such a skilled defender. Knocks down the triple. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And here are the Pelicans now. It's a three-point game. Pass to Sampson. Ingram up top. Really struggled in the loss against Golden State. Capella with a rebound. San Antonio has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Here's Vaughn. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. There's the drive. The shot by Magician, no good. Everything right except the finish. You have to keep focus all the way through the play. You want your bigs playing big. Rips it down in traffic. And it's Williamson penetrating. A relentless penetrator. Zion forcing the D to get physical with him there. You know something Zion Williamson was at the forefront of was helping arena workers affected by the COVID pandemic. He set an unbelievable example with his generosity. Timeout called the Spurs. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. Yeah, it was relentless play at both ends of the court in that game. They were able to seize control and maintain it. Majority of the night, they were in attack mode. Tremendous effort all the way around. Here's Magician. He's got five. Pass to Vaughn. Here's Magician. 
from deep three-point range. Sinks it. What range from downtown? Give him eight. And you're referring to Zion's pledge to pay the salaries of so many workers furloughed during that trying time. NBA Zion's effort led to a lot of other NBA players following suit. It was great to see just how much NBA players care about their communities and the people behind the scenes. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Williamson. Unloads from 13. And the Pelicans miss again. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Sexton. Shots blocked. And here's Ingram. Still getting warmed up offensively. No bucket yet in the game from him. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Here's Magician. Give him eight points now. Right side, Sexton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. And the Pelicans shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Here's Garland. He's got a piece of it. Here's Bowman, covered by Ingram. Pass to Bowman. Here's Magician. Just five on the clock. There's the triple. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Garland, the pass to Williamson, hammers the lob through. Nearly unstoppable. No matter where the pass is delivered, Zion will go up and get it. Sexton up top. And in that win against the Grizzlies, he's another guy who played really well. And he gets the bucket. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Now here's Garland. It's rebounded by Vaughn. Outside Sexton, Magician. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Darius Scarlett, his first personal foul. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for San Antonio. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three-point shooting has been terrific in the first half. Also, their passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. One shot. And some new faces and new places this year, Grant. How long do you think it takes for a new player to fit in? Well, you know, some players never fit in. But depending upon the style, it varies from player to player. Here's Sampson. Ten points in his last outing. His first shot attempt. The rebound by Stewart. On offense, here are the Spurs. They're on a 20-6 run. Down low. And he makes it on the layup. And the Spurs lead by 14. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. No good on the shot. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Pass to Sampson. Out of bounds. It'll be Spurs ball. San Antonio ball. So both teams changing it up here. For the Pelicans. San Antonio has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Oh, 
Another shot. And he sinks the layup. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. New Orleans is shooting just 38% so far in this one. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. The defense tightens up, so he adjusts. Nice play. Here's Magician. He's got 14. There's the steal. Deflected. To the wing on the left. Clock at six. Fires for three. Doesn't go for him. He's covered by Warren. To the left side wing. Here's Peyton. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. So it's the Pelicans now. The Spurs shooting a fantastic 52% on the first. Good D by Peyton. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Two minutes. Not this time. Two minutes. Two minutes. We've got 155 left to play in the first. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Magician. He's got 14. Guarded by Peyton. Five on the clock. To stop the drought. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Pass to Frazier. Here he goes. It's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession here. Book Knight, he's checked in for San Antonio. James Booknight. One minute left in the opening quarter. Murphy's shot is good. And usually teams go on runs from a bunch of layups and dunks, but that's not the case here. To the paint. Here's Magician. It doesn't go for him. Now New Orleans takes it the other way. Thirty-six seconds left to play in the first quarter. Can't connect from short range. San Antonio leading. Here's Warren on the take, and he throws it down with one hand. The defense has to be better. Flat out, can't give Warren these types of lanes to the bucket. Sixteen seconds left to play in the first. Here's Frazier. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Four on the clock. Shoots over Stewart. And not going to go. He misses his first attempt of the night. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Spurs. They lead by eight. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere.
Well, if there's one thing we've seen from Colin Sexton in his young career, he can put the ball in the basket. But he said he's not trying to force anything. I feel like I've just been calm and letting the game come to me and not trying to force anything and just getting shots that uh, my teammates create for me and just knocking them down. Well, Grant, he says he's just getting it in the flow. Well, with his sky-high scoring rate, B.A., he's hunting his shot. And the key is, he's finding good ones. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. So for the Pelicans right now. Well, Magician in the last matchup against the Grizzlies was simply oh, terrific. Fine. He dropped 50 points, and he was red hot from beyond the arc, raining down a ton of threes. He was dominant, and they're hoping to get more of the same from him tonight. Take it away. Well, it'll be interesting to see how much of that performance carries over into this one. His goal is to provide whatever the team needs from him on that particular evening. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away One with shot. the W. All right, Smitty, you won some titles at the international level, a world championship in 94, gold in 2000. So how do those compare to the ring you won with the Spurs? You know, B.A., they're totally different. Obviously, both of them are fantastic. But internationally, it's a little bit special because you're playing for your country and you have that USA across your jersey. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. First team foul. The first free throw is good. At the line for the Pelicans. At the line for two. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Now here's Warren. Not a lot of room. Here's Magician. Sinks the tray. 17 points in the game. Never Showing he's more than just a score. Warren is good at finding his teammates when they're uncovered. Pass to Frazier. Shoots over Booknight. And the Pelicans miss again. The Spurs have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Stewart. Murphy pulls it in. For New Orleans, they've gone just 1 of 3 to begin the second quarter. Rebound San Antonio. They've led by as many as 14. Next up, they'll face the Nuggets in Denver. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Good on the shot. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Well, the Pelicans shooting just under 40% from the field. To the inside. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. From 11 feet away, and there are the Spurs with another bucket. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. Let's it go from 11. It's deflected. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. Pass to Magician. From deep. From beyond the arc, and then some. 22 points for him. They're shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc, and their confidence is growing. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And the Pelicans call time here. You know T.J. Warren's accuracy is truly remarkable. Here's a guy who can really hit from anywhere. And even more than that, do it efficiently.
Pelicans going with a whole new group out there. Pick up left, pick up left. Go over, go over. Get mine, get mine. Goes up off the inbound. Garland, no good. You know, Grant, looking at Warren's precision shooting, he's used it to pull off some pretty staggering scoring performances. Yeah, a few guys have had over 50 points in a single game before. When he gets in the zone, Warren can have a huge impact. But you know, it's the result of a ton of hard work developing that solid shooting. Number five, shooting one. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Well, Grant, it seems like each year, play in the NBA becomes a little more wide open and a little less physical. Yeah, it's definitely changed, B.A., what you look for in a player today. Now, if you're overly aggressive, you always will be in foul trouble and of little use to your team. So being able to control your aggression is how you survive in today's game. With the body to carve out space, Zion Williamson goes to work and gets it done. Magician. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Darius Garland. That's his third personal foul. And he makes a first. Foul. At the line for San Antonio, number five. That one's no good. The Pelicans have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Garland's got his first points of the game. Great ball movement by B.I. Spots a wide open teammate and feeds him. Pass to Magician. To the paint. Five to shoot. Here's Capella. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. To the middle. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Nice to see Williams spot the open man. He has awareness and ability as a passer. For New Orleans, they've gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Here's Sampson. Rebounded by the Spurs. Capella's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Bowman. Some solid defense from Ingram. The Pelicans shooting about 43% on this one. Out to the wing. And the shot is good by Garland. Garland's gotten his second bucket of the game. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Here's Booknight, covered by Williamson. Booknight's shot is good. Booknight's got his second basket on the night. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Outside Ingram. Got it from about 16 feet. What I like about Ingram at this point in his career, very decisive in his actions. Here's Booknight. Pass to Vaughn. Here's Capella. Here's Magician. Guarded by Garland. Go over it. Let it fly. Shoot that. Shoot that. Here's Book Knight. Great D that time from Williamson. And it's the Pelicans on the break. And he lobs it up to the rim. Throw it down on the lob. Zion just overwhelms the competition. Unstoppable here. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. It's time for T-shirts. Substitution for your Spurs. Colin Sexton. San Antonio's gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Pass to Bowman. And here's Sexton. Six to shoot. Down low. And it's Capella with the jam. 
you see the vertical, Clint Capella way above the rim with one or two hands. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, Brian. Colin Sexton's nickname at Alabama was the Young Bull. He said, quote, I just play with a lot of passion through adversity. No matter what the score is, I play a complete game. Every time I step on the court, I have to show the world what I can do. Oh, tremendous energy, Allie, right? Thanks for that. Here's Sexton, rebounded by New Orleans. Williamson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Garland. Here's Sampson. Let's it go from 11. That's good on the jumper. He's got six. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Now here's Sexton. Here's Capella. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Knocked loose. Here's Sampson. Check by Sexton. Let's it go from deep. Shot is good, Sampson. And their offense seems to be coming around. Now they're shooting upwards of 50% from the field. Pass to Sexton. Carries it down low. Sexton. Sexton's got eight points. <laughs> With his level of quickness, it's tough to keep up defensively. Here's Sampson. Check by Sexton. Out to Garland. Now Ingram. Back to Garland. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Here's Williamson. Hits the front of the rim and out. San Antonio's gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. With the floater. Sexton. That's good. Sexton's got four points this quarter. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Outside Ingram. Back to Garland. Pass to Sampson. Ingram on the wing. Fires the three. And another three for New Orleans. Becoming consistent from beyond the arc. It's completely changed how you have to defend Ingram. Now here's Sexton. He's got ten. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. 12 points for him. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Back to Garland. Pass to Williamson. Back to Garland. Fires from deep. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. 146 left in the second period. Here's Capella. And count it. Now five for seven. They have no answer defensively inside. New Orleans has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. When thinking about Colin Sexton, the first thing that comes to mind is his burst. I mean, his acceleration is just tremendous. He can go from zero to 60 like a race car. Offensive board. That's basket number six in eight tries. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. New Orleans has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. You know, Grant, with Sexton, it's not just that he has speed. He actually knows how to That's use that speed as a weapon. Time. Yeah, he really does. I mean, defenders Second have to play out on him because of his three-point ability. So he'll wait to catch them flat-footed, then use his burst to blow by them, getting into the teeth of the defense and making plays. 103 left in the second quarter. Outside Ingram. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Throws it up high. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. 
the pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Now here's Sexton. 12 points for him. Shoots from 12. And there's another one for the Spurs. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Yep, count it. Ingram's got his third basket on the night right there. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Guarded by Garland. Here's Vaughn. The layup misses. Here's Ingram. And another basket for New Orleans. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. From deep three-point range. And that concludes the first half. Spurs out in front, up by seven. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. The Pelicans trail. We've got Colin Sexton, and it's Bowman in at the small forward position. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. Here's Magician. Inside, deflects the pass. And the basket by Vaughn. And the Spurs lead by nine. Round inside. Outside Garland. Tries to break his ice. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Oh, wait. Big finish. Big time. And man, did they need that. You can tell he's trying to get him going with that dunk. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Pass to Sexton. Got it again. That makes him 8 for 15 for the night. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. 90 seconds into the second half now. Here's Ingram. Out to Garland from outside the arc. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Sexton. The shot, no good. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. After this game, they can look forward to Detroit, where they will match up against the Pistons. That'll be their second of three games total on this road trip. Sampson's shot is off. The Spurs have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Sexton, that's good. Sexton's got 18 points. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Pass to Williamson. Capella with it. He's picked up by Williamson. Here's Vaughn. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. <laughs> Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And here are the Pelicans now. The Spurs making their last shot. Here's Sampson. The three... And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. 12 points for him. If you relax on him out there, he's going to make you pay every time. Here's Magician. Guarded by Garland. 
Pass to Bowman. Shot clock at six. Here's Magician. He's got 26. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Nice. He's checked in for Sexton. New Orleans has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. First free throw is good. At the line for the Pelicans. Two shots. So he gets them both. For San Antonio, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Here's Magician. Yo, yo, right side. Watch the pick. Third quarter action. And just under three and a half minutes have passed. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. It's rebounded by Vaughn. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Pass to Bowman. Here's Magician. Down to five on the shot clock. Three pointer, book night. No good that time. New Orleans has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. Unable to get that one. And the Spurs going the other way now. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. The shot by Magician, no good. Well, New Orleans shooting 44% since the third quarter got underway. Tipped. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. Banked it in off the glass. 28 points for him. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for San Antonio. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. I'll tell you something else. The points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. Here's Ingram. After the basket by San Antonio. Let's it go from 14. Peyton tips it back in. Peyton's gotten his second bucket. Now that takes a skillful touch. Yeah, excellent control to just ease the ball back up and in. Number five. Oh, oh, excellent way to pad the lead. Yeah, especially when it's your one throwing it down like that. It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. Looking to end this cold spell. And a missed layup. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. That's well, that was clearly foul. a foul. First team foul. At the line for your Spurs. Two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one at the line is good. And the Spurs making a change here. Warren's checked in. So one for two that time at the stripe. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Frazier. Book Knight with a rebound. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Here's Magician. Oh, there's the alley. Smooth finish off a terrific feed. Man, the timing and execution could have been any better right there. New Orleans has gone two for two from deep here in the third. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Frazier. The rebound by the Spurs. 
Here's Book Knight. Six points for him. Driving in. That one doesn't drop. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. He's got nine. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Good. Book Knight's got four points now in the quarter. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Here's Frazier. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And that one is hammered home. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the Pelicans now. That one drops for him. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second personal foul. First one falls for him. San Antonio leading. So the Pelicans five right now. They've got Brandon Ingram. Zion Williamson out there with Darius Garland. And it's Sampson in at the two spot. Here's Magician. Right side, Sexton to the middle. Six on the shot clock. For three. Murphy pulls it in. New Orleans has gone seven of nine from three-point range so far. Here's Sampson. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got eight assists here tonight. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Here's Magician. Guarded by Garland. He buries it from three. And the Spurs lead by nine. Even though he hasn't lit up the scoreboard, I like how he's keeping others involved. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Hey, rejected by Capella. And they just continue to dominate the boards. And the layup is good. And it's an 11-point Spurs lead. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Pass to Ingram. Down low. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Williamson. The defense can't stop a force like Zion. Once he's airborne, the slam is almost inevitable. Now here's Capella. Stewart, the pass to Sexton. Over Ingram. Again, the Spurs score. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. Here's Sampson. From nine feet out, and he drops that one in. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. It's good. An intimidator himself, Capella's not shying away from a little contact. Now Garland. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. The rebounding numbers make it obvious why they're in front. Effort's been there. Check mark. The physicality. Check mark. They set the tone for this game early on. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Here's Williamson. The rebound by Stewart. 
Stewart's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. The shot by Magician, no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside Garland. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Sexton. Played it in with a nice Colin touch Sexton. off the window. Sexton's got eight points in the quarter. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Here's Williamson. Hey, rejected by Capella. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Capella. Talking substitution. Outside Garland. Hey, hey, yo, yo, right here. Over to the left wing. Sampson. Yes. And a nice assist from Garland. 19 points in the game. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Pass to Capella. To the left wing. Out left to the wing. Three-pointer. Vaughn, no good. For New Orleans, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Here's Garland. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Here's Bowman. Can't get it to drop. Some solid defense from Ingram. Pelicans shooting 44% here in the fourth quarter. Williamson passes to Garland. Shot clock at six. Ingram against Sexton. And that one's good. Ingram. A high usage guy. Ingram always takes a lot of high percentage shots. Here's Magician. Guarded by Garland. Goes up at the stripe. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Pelicans have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. The offensive rebound. Pass to Sampson. Now here's Garland. Defense is right there. Goes back up. And he lays it in. The way they've hit the offensive boards in the second half, you would think they're the team that's leading. The Spurs have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Here's Magician. Oh, it's blocked by Williamson. And you look at Zion's playing style. Everything he does borders on the spectacular. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. Pelicans ball. The Pelicans trail. Garland with the ball. Pass to Ingram. To the inside. Rebounded by the Spurs. On the wing, Sexton. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Sexton's got 14 points now in the second half. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. New Orleans calls timeout. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out, contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Steven Silas as he talked with the team. He complimented the three-point shooting. He said, quote, it's one thing to get the look. It's another to bury it. I believe in you guys. I think you've got this game on lock. Let's go out there and let's take this. Guys. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's his first foul of the game. his first personal foul.
The Spurs have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Pass to Capella. To the paint. Here's Bowman. Outside for Sexton. Second chance shot. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Williamson's got rebound number 11. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Back to Ingram. Off the mark there with a three. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. And here's Garland. Capella with a rebound. Here's Bowman, covered by Ingram. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Pelicans. New Orleans has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question, way too many empty possessions for them. Snatched up, Garland. Nice work on the boards, yeah, paying right. off with a basket. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Pass to Magician. Takes the three. That one is off. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Outside Garland. To the left wing. 11 feet out. Rebound San Antonio. On the wing, Sexton. Pass to Vaughn. And the layup falls. Assist Great goes. job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Well, New Orleans shooting 47% in this one. Looking efficient. Outside for Ingram. Second chance effort. And the layup is good. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result Colin you'll get. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Well, the Pelicans shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Outside Ingram. Misses off the left iron. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Pass to Sexton. Here's Magician, guarded by Garland. Here's Magician. Shot clock at five. Back to Sexton from behind the arc. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Williamson's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. And here's Ingram. Let's it fly. Ingram can't get that one to fall. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Out to the right wing. Pass to Magician. On the wing, Sexton. Here's Magician. Let's go with a three. It's hauled in by Sampson. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong, yet opposite half. Unbelievable hang time, giving the crowd its money's worth. Go ahead, Zion. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Williamson against Sexton. Here's Magician. Drains the triple. 33 points for him. And he's not taking it easy on them at all. I mean, we all know he's going to keep pouring it on. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Garland for three. That one falls. Nice Daniel feed that Garland. time from Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth assist with that last one. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. And players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Outside Ingram. Pass to Garland. And another three for New Orleans. 
They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. Here's Magician. Beyond the arc. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Spurs. I'd say the rim protection really turned things around in their favor. <laughs> yeah, their defensive rotations have been superb. They've been trying to challenge every shot. I love their effort. And they pick up their fourth win of the year. Every victory so sweet in the association. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with a win in the first game. Now here's Sexton. The three. And that one's good. Magician. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. New Orleans calls timeout. They're down by 10. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Seconds left in the fourth. Get by, get by. Here's Frazier. And it's all from three point range. Don't do anything silly, just ride out the clock. Yes, if they take their time and execute, the game is all theirs. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Out to the wing. Here's the three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. And so it's San Antonio easily grabbing this one. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. We'll see you next time. Chevy's Caprice's Buick's just a few I could mention Slow and steady till she ready I ain't new to this In the single file line Like they serving detention Got that Get set cause all this candy keep dripping Going two miles an hour Left them sour like lemons Put the pedal to the metal Catching up can be expensive Supreme